Hey everyone, I know you guys are about to get your free ride soon. Thought I'd shoot a little video of uh, just the drivetrain. Got the wheel off, had to use a little screwdriver. Um, I've had to change the belt out in the wild before. You can do it over uh, 83 millimeter wheel, but the 97 wheels are a little bit too big to change on the fly. Um, really easy. You just guide it through the tensioner and slip it, slip it around this guy. Hold on. Let me give this a couple turns. Oops. Go. Easy. A um, couple of things. Uh, the bearings, when you first get them, they're a little squeaky, but um, you ride 30 miles and then it gets actually gets quieter. Okay. Here's the remote, very simple, it has a nice little brass clicky button. This is for a future upgrade. Um, you know, it's like exercise, uh, good trigger safety, you know, treat this like a gun. I saw one of these remotes, same, same kind of uh, setup, was handed to my friend uh, and he tried to put it in his pocket while he was repositioning a mountain board and it almost went into the lake. So if you're, if you're handing this to someone, turn it off. Turning it off is really easy, right? This button, on, off. If you're holding in your hand, you're at a stoplight, just, you know, treat it like a gun. Uh, finger out, on, off. Doesn't, doesn't have to pair or anything. If it's on, it's connected, off, not connected. Super, super simple. Um, kind of gets out of the way, you know. You're riding and uh, don't really have to think about it, it just works. I can't really ask for more out of something like this. I don't know why you would want something like a screen. I mean, you should be paying attention to the road. <laughs> but, yep. Very um, simple, pragmatic, works, gets out of the way so you can ride. Um, nothing, nothing else to it. Um, there's a little battery indicator here. I know the lights are kind of bright, but there's like a four dot um, LED here and 25% per red dot. Not sure if you can see that. All right. So I thought I'd shoot a little bit of a ride video. Uh, this is the um, the app that I'm using I'll link in the description below. Uh, it's by Agmaniac. It's kind of an amazing app. If you use it, you should donate to him because he spent a ton of time doing it. Um, let's see. You can see the speed in the top right corner. I would pay attention to the power. Um, you can see that I'm not, you know, when it's around 400 watts, 500 watts and about half throttle. Um, I don't ever really go that far above half throttle. Uh, and you can see that I get to 25 pretty quick. This app is really nice. The kind of annoying thing is it only shoots in landscape. And riding a skateboard and having to hold a phone in landscape is you'll see the shot gets really crappy. And, you know, the board rides very, very quietly. Uh, there's no, like, uh, dead cat on the cell phone, so it's just picking up a ton of wind. Um, when I'm riding, I hear traffic. You know, traffic is louder than, than um, the board, and I can hear bicyclists and everything. So it's not drowning out any of the noise. So you can see on the right side, 
um, I'm breaking because there's a lot of sand and blue salt all over the ground, which is just really sketchy. You don't want to ride fast through that. And you can see the, the bar actually go red when I'm breaking. So again, more blue sand. In, in the distance, you can see that there's a hill. <clears throat> it's a really fun hill to, to climb. And um, when I am holding the trigger, I keep my middle finger underneath the trigger to kind of physically guard against going super fast. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're going that fast once you've ridden for a while. I, like I wasn't tr trying to go that fast and it's really easy to get up to 25, 26. The fastest I've gotten is about 28 uh, with 97 millimeter wheels and uh, an FOC mode. It could, and that was on a flat, it could, ease, it could definitely go 30 on BLDC. Um, if you you know if you're into that, and that feels fast, it definitely feels fast. But you know, 25 doesn't. You know, you're cruising that speed, but it doesn't. You know, the board is really solid, so it doesn't feel really sketchy. So uh, here I'm crossing a bridge and there's a bunch of bridge gaps here. <clears throat> really knocks the board around when I go through. So yeah, I, I you know I shot this more so you could kind of see the metrics. I know <laughs> the film itself is actually pretty crappy, but you can kind of see you know, speed to power on the input and output. I hope you're paying attention to that. Um, yeah, and, and you know, you got a lot of range too. And that last part I was riding on a sandy path. It, it can ride on a sandy path perfectly fine.